Hello, Boise Brave, and welcome to KBHS TV. Today is Friday, March 12th. I'm Joe Kreisenbeck. And I'm Gabriel Carroll, and these are your weekly video announcements. Spring break is coming up quickly, so it's time to focus in and finish strongly with all of our coursework. That's right, Joe. Spring break marks the end of the third quarter, so teachers will be working hard at upgrading grades. The I current grading is still a hot topic in our district. Our very own Noah Young asked teachers and students their thoughts on the pros and cons of the district's grading policy. Roll it. Hello, Boise Brave. I'm Noah Young. I went out to interview teachers about their thoughts on the current grading policy. Take a look. I think as teachers, we could have helped those kids who may have missed an assignment after an assignment after assignment. We could have helped them in a different way as opposed to opening up this, this wormhole. It seems like that everyone seems to be wanting to go down give students the ability to get their grade back on track if they do miss an assignment or two because instead of a zero you just have a 50. I still struggle with giving 50 percent credit for something that has not been turned in. The student who's passing the class really trying hard it makes the effort not seem worth it. I think the grading policy has been tremendously helpful to students. I would suspect that there might be a few students who are taking advantage of a 50% missing policy. I think for those that are working hard, it doesn't make sense to not be rewarded with the points that they deserve. But for kids that aren't really doing anything, they don't really merit any points. However, they could be going something that we don't know about. So that could be an external issue that's affecting their schoolwork. So I would say let's not do a blanket. Uh, you just don't turn something in, you get 50%. I would say that, that that needs to be maybe taken care of between the parties involved, case by case. Otherwise, if you don't turn it in, you get a zero. I'm No Young, and those have been some thoughts on the current grading policy. Stay brave, Boise High. COVID has added challenges for everyone in the school system. Teachers have had to completely retool their classrooms, and students have been forced to become far more accountable for their own learning. But there's another group in our school that has also been greatly affected. Our incredible custodial staff continues tirelessly to work behind the scenes to keep us all safe. Take a look. Our awesome custodians are some of the hardest workers on campus. Without them, going to school would not be possible. COVID has changed all of our lives in some way or another. For these diligent workers, it has brought them a whole list of new challenges on top of the great work they already do on campus. I'm the head custodian here for Boise High School. In general, custodians take care of all of the buildings. We take care of inside, outside, every piece of furniture, every piece of equipment, every wall, every floor, every ceiling. It is all what we take care of. One thing that should be known is that a custodian is different from a janitor. While a janitor is in charge of cleaning the school, custodians also take care of the entire building and perform maintenance. We've pretty much had to disinfect the campus every night. We pretty much have to hit all the desks, all the doorknobs, all the tables, light switches, anything that gets touched, we have to disinfect. Uh, we've also had to add a bunch of hand sanitizing stations all around the school and make sure they still uh, are filled. We've had to kind of change how we set up uh, basketball and wrestling and events because we're maintaining a social distance. If you want to help our custodians out, there's a couple of ways you can do so. Um, being aware of the messes that you make and cleaning up after yourselves is a huge, huge help to the custodial staff. Um, sometimes you're not aware of it just as teenagers. So being aware of what's going on around you and keeping your stuff clean and organized is a very big help to us. It's time for today's club and event news. Paul, tell us what is, is happening. I'm Paul Zofel and it's time for your club and activities report. Congratulations to senior Noah Young and sophomore Finn Ehrman, whose projects were selected as the top 10 for the Cap Ed Movie Trailer Contest. You are encouraged to live stream the awards via the Cap Ed YouTube channel at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. In other news, news, community leadership is conducting a toy drive for Interface Sanctuary children. If you have any toys for preschool age children which are still in good condition, we urge you to consider donating. Well, this has been Paul, and you are officially up to date. Back to you, Gabriel. 
Let's turn things over to Davis at our sports desk. Davis, tell us the score. Hi, Brave fans. I'm Davis Oman, and it's time to talk sports. Congratulations to our boys basketball team for notching a historic first round win over Rigby in last weekend's state tournament. The guys battled hard in both the semifinal and third place game, but came up just a little short at the final buzzer. Great fight all season long, team. Good luck to the softball squad who plays at BK tonight and at Columbia on Saturday. Rattle those bats and bring home some wins. More good luck to our track team who has their first meet of the season tonight. Events begin at 4.30 p.m. at Capitol High School. Our baseball team hosts Bishop Kelly at noon on Saturday. Come enjoy some sunshine and cheer on the brave. Finally, mark your calendars for Monday when tennis and golf will kick off their seasons. It's a great time to get outside and root on the brave. Well, that's your sports wrap. This has been Davis reporting. Now back to you, Gabriel. And now it's time for today's words of wisdom. Gratitude is something all of us can show every day. American transcendentalist Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, the invariable mark of wisdom is to see the miraculous in the common. Remember, you can make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. This has been Gabriel and Joe sharing what's up. Thanks for watching Boise High.